M11 The Toothpaste Millionaire 1 I remember the morning Rufus got the idea for toothpaste. He had to do some shopping for his mother, and I went along with him. We were in the cut-rate drugstore because toothpaste was one of the things on Rufus's list. I was looking at some name-brand eyeshadow that was on sale when I heard Rufus say, Seventy-nine cents! Seventy-nine cents for a six-inch tube of toothpaste! That's crazy! It's better than eighty-nine cents, I said. I pointed to some eighty-nine-cent tubes farther down the shelf. That's even crazier, Rufus said. What can be in those tubes anyway? Just some peppermint flavoring and some paste. Maybe the paste is expensive to make, I said. Paste, Rufus said. You don't need powdered gold to make paste. Paste is made out of everyday, ordinary stuff. Didn't you ever make paste? Toothpaste, I said. I mean just plain paste for pasting things together, Rufus said. My Grandma Mayflower showed me how to make paste when I was four years old. How do you do it? I asked. Simple, Rufus said. You just take a little flour and starch and cook them with a little water till the mixture has a nice pasty feel. Then you can use it to paste pictures in a scrapbook or paste up wallpaper. But you couldn't brush your teeth with that, I said. Well, I don't know, Rufus said. I never tried. But I bet toothpaste isn't any harder to make. Anyway, I'm not paying any 79 cents for a tube of toothpaste. Rufus crossed toothpaste off his mother's shopping list. But your mother said to get toothpaste, I said. You can't help it if it's expensive. I'll make her some, Rufus said. I bet I can make a gallon of it for 79 cents. Maybe even for 78 and 1 8 cents, I said. Rufus laughed. Maybe, he said. Hey, I said, do you think you could make eyeshadow too? It suddenly struck me that 69 cents for a smidge of eyeshadow about as big as a nickel, and that was the cut rate sale price, was a little bit expensive too. Eyeshadow's a kind of pasty stuff, I told Rufus. Maybe if you just added coloring to toothpaste. Maybe, Rufus said. But what's the point? Nobody really needs eyeshadow. If anybody's crazy enough to pay 69 cents for something he doesn't need, I can't be bothered about him. But everybody needs to brush his teeth. If I could make a good, cheap toothpaste, that would be worth doing. I decided not to buy any eyeshadow. Rufus was right. Who needed it? In addition to which, I didn't even like eyeshadow. I had tried it, and I didn't like the feel of it or the bother of putting it on. But some of my friends were buying eyeshadow and trying out new shades and talking about which brand was the best, and I just got into the habit of going along with them. Rufus, I said, as we rode our bikes home, I'm going to tell you something I've never told anyone before. I hate eyeshadow. I really hate it. I don't care too much about it one way or the other myself, Rufus said. And it just occurred to me, I said, that if I never buy any eyeshadow for the rest of my life, I'll probably save at least $10 a year. If I live till I'm 80, that's $700. Great. Rufus said. And if I could save money on toothpaste, too, I said. Wow! 
I was thinking about how easy it would be to get rich just by not buying things the stores want you to buy. How much do you think it would cost us to make our own toothpaste? I asked Rufus. I don't know, Rufus said, but I just thought of something else. You know what I used to brush my teeth with when I stayed at my Grandma Mayflower's in North Carolina? You know what my grandma uses to brush her teeth? What? I asked. Bicarbonate of soda, Rufus said. Just plain old baking soda. You just put a little of the soda powder on your toothbrush. Bicarb? I said. That's the stuff my mother tries to give me when I feel sick to my stomach. Bicarbonate of soda in water. I can't stand the taste. Really? Rufus said. To me, bicarb has a nice refreshing taste. Sort of like 7-Up without the lemon-lime flavor. But who wants to drink 7-Up without the lemon-lime flavor? I said. That's the whole point of 7-Up. I guess you're right, Rufus said. I guess that's why more people don't brush their teeth with bicarb. The next afternoon, when I stopped by Rufus's house to borrow his bike pump, he had about 50 bowls and pans scattered around the kitchen. What are you making? I asked. I already made it, Rufus said. He handed me a spoon and a bowl with some white stuff in it. I took a spoonful. Don't eat it, Rufus said. Just taste it. Rub a little on your teeth. I tried a little. How does it taste? Rufus asked. Not bad, I said. Better than the kind my mother buys in the pink and white striped tube. How'd you get it to taste so good? A drop of peppermint oil. Rufus said. But I've got other flavors, too. He pushed three other pots of paste across the table. The first one had a spicy taste. Clove-flavored, Rufus said. You like it? I don't know, I said. It's interesting. Try this one. The next sample had a sweet taste. Vanilla, I guessed. Right, Rufus said. I like vanilla, I said. In milkshakes or ice cream, but it doesn't seem quite right in toothpaste. Too sweet. This one won't be too sweet, Rufus said, handing me another sample. Eeeh, I said, and ran to the sink to wash out my mouth. What did you put in that? Curry powder, Rufus said. You don't like it? I thought it tasted like a good shrimp curry. Maybe it does, I said. But I don't like curry. Rufus looked disappointed. I don't suppose you'd like it almond-flavored either, he said. I made some of that too. But I decided not too many people would take to almond.